Greetings, and welcome to episode 37. In today's episode, we'll be talking about being unsure. And what I mean by that is being unsure of what to do next when things slow down on the path. What do you do when nothing happens in rapid succession, when you have to wait for the next lesson or the next teacher? And we're going to talk about the things I've learned to do when we hit those slow spots. So if you're ready, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So, being unsure, it can mean different things to different people. To me, it means not being sure of what the next move is on my path or what to do next. And when I hit those spots, what I like to do is go over and get more, what's the word I'm looking for? get more familiar with what I've already learned. And yes, you've probably molded over a million times. You've already incorporated it. You've already been using it. But it doesn't hurt to go back over it. I mean, there could be things you forgot. Like, you listen to a three or four hour lecture, there's going to be some points that you forgot. And if you mull it over, become more familiar with it, you could remember things. But... What I am talking about is more the, the energy work, how to get more attuned with you, with the things you've learned. If, say, you just learned meditation, and you're waiting for the next big lesson, and you don't know which way to go, perfect time to show patience and just focus on learning your meditation. And not just the meditation as a mechanic, but everything that goes along with it, how it makes you feel, how does your energy rise or fall, where does that energy go. Just several things you can do within each different, I guess you could say, branch of what you've learned recently. And it doesn't even have to be things you've learned recently. It can be things you've learned years ago. That And some things you have to remember... <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of these things won't even come to mind. There's a lot of things, if you've noticed, I mean, think back. There's a lot of things that you've learned that you just never used because the situation never came up. And now, because you have the slow spot, you can think about the situations you've been in since then. And maybe this situation now that you're in, this slow spot, is the perfect time to recall some of that stuff you've never used before because you didn't have the situation. Maybe this is the situation. Maybe not. I'm not saying it is. Sometimes a slow spot comes with a difficulty. And in your mind, that's what's creating the slow spot. But the one can happen without the other. You can have bad times without slow spots, and you can have slow spots without bad times. But when they hit at the same time, it gives you a chance to reflect on things you've learned and didn't get a chance to use because you just, the situation just never came up. And this could be your situation. Don't just bemoan your circumstances because I noticed that a slow spot can be made to feel worse if something negative happens while you're in that slow spot or vice versa. Something negative can feel worse because you are already feeling kind of down because things are going a little bit slower than you would like. And I'm not saying you wanting things to go fast or slow is good or bad. What I'm saying is it has a tendency to exacerbate negativity because you're already feeling a little, oh, nowhere to go, nothing to do, and then bam, something bad happens. Or bam, something bad happens. And on top of that, now you're feeling like, nowhere to go, nothing to do. But bear in mind, the situation that you're in could be the thing that you're supposed to be at. So it gives you the perfect opportunity. Look back. I mean, it's like a, for me, it's like a, it's like a, a catalog or, or, <clears throat> or a menu. I can look back and see every little trick I ever learned and 
the ones that I know how to apply obviously don't apply to this situation or I would have used it but there is more likely than not something you've already learned that you can put into motion now and if that is the case then that is what you're supposed to be doing it's not always about learning something new sometimes it's about becoming more familiar with things you've already learned and that's what I mean by becoming more familiar I don't mean oh I've been breathing in and out since I was born let's look at that no <laughs> things you learned that you okay I just never had the situation I know I learned how to change a flat tire but I've never had a flat tire on my car so I've never gotten to use the skill and I'm having a slow spot in my spiritual path and poof flat tire look at that now you get a chance to use that skill and I'm not saying that that's the skill I'm just saying for example <coughs> but also bear in mind patience it is the perfect time to use and exercise patience because I think it was Neil deGrasse Tyson who said the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you likewise it is no under no obligation to move as fast or as slow as you like in other words your next moment will get there when the next moment gets there so exercise patience and you'd be surprised the lessons you can learn and what you would consider or any of us might consider a mundane moment it's like oh well nothing's going on is re really is nothing going on the fact that you just said that says something's going on because if you're noticing there's a lack then that means there's expectation and that's room for improvement right there what are you expecting and why are you expecting it look into that oh excuse me gotta get the go juice and see <clears throat> for me like I hit a slow spot recently but it seemed that because of a certain situation I was in or that was going on at the time the slow spot hit right after the negativity hit I mean and this is within the last few days but my the process didn't stop I mean I've expanded leaps and bounds almost by accident I wasn't expecting it I was just trying to uh, not extricate myself from said negativity so to speak all I was trying to do was maintain and get through it and in the maintaining I learned to apply something that I didn't even realize I knew how to do until I was doing it, it was like oh yeah I remember when I learned that and then that came with new techniques that was like wow I never thought of doing that this is over the last couple of days this is the, 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 the slow spot I'm in right now <laughs> on the date of this being published this is what's going on this isn't my first slow spot but this is my most recent and just things viewing things in a certain way like you can use a technique in more than one way but if the situation doesn't come up like you know how to change tires but did it occur to you you can help somebody else change their tire that's not the situation that's just a, for instance you can use a skill in more than one way you can use an ability you can use information in more than one way and some of these things are coming to me like you never thought of this how come you never thought of that and uh, I was fighting with myself getting down on myself for whatever reason that's not really the point the point is it actually became something useful to be at, at, at odds with myself because 
I, the me that you, you see that I'm projecting out to the world, was upset with a higher aspect of myself because I had felt like he had ditched me in a moment of need. And almost out of anger, he answered a slew of questions all at once. And the, the answers just kept coming and coming and coming, but not the answer for the question that I asked. Which tells me that we, as a single being, not as just separate aspects of a whole being, but we as a single being haven't encountered that yet to come up with a suitable answer <laughs> if that makes any sense it makes perfect sense to me you can't answer a question if you don't know the answer and he answered every question and not every single question I don't know the fucking intricacies of the whole universe right now but a lot of questions just randomly here answers answers answered a bunch of questions I didn't even ask but not the question I asked which tells me the answer is just unavailable. And perhaps that it was partially my fault that the, the lack of communication, the lack of information, I noticed there was a block, there was a mental block, a huge one from way, way, way back when I was a kid. And I had to remove that, and as soon as I did, things just opened up. I still haven't received my answer, but I'm more confident toward the situation as a whole. And I don't suggest anybody start fighting with themselves or any aspect of themselves. It's better to be a whole being, but this was a catalyst to get information I needed and wanted didn't get the information I was immediately asking for but I got a lot of information so I can't really complain about what's going on and it struck me as no different than I view it here like how you can be at a certain level and see someone below you and have a judgment one way or another, good or bad. Well, that aspect of yourself is existing separately from you because you're not a whole person yet. Well, this aspect of me that is existing separate from me views me and judges me either positively or negatively. And I didn't realize that as above, so below. I, it never occurred to me that it would happen that way. But having this flat spot, this, this, this lull in the spiritual activity, allowed me a chance to see that. Because it had never occurred to me that way before. Because that's not the way it's taught. It's your higher self. It's goodness and light. Well, it's still you. <laughs> and if you're an asshole... There's a good possibility that every aspect of you, no matter how high up the Jacob's Ladder you go, that aspect of you is an asshole too. And th that aspect of me isn't an asshole, but he's kind of dickish. <laughs> Which threw light on me at this level, experiencing this here. Because if that's who I'm to become, and all points in time exist simultaneously, that means I'm already there. I'm just not experiencing that yet. That means I'm that asshole. I'm that dickish person. Which means there's a lot of things I need to work on now if I don't want to become that. And I think the more I'm thinking about it, even right now, coming to this epiphany, that's what I was trying to show myself was that you have a very long way to go and not to judge the situation on such young with such young eyes and such a such a uh, underdeveloped opinion because I really haven't been through enough to say with certainty what exactly is going on 
<coughs> but I can say with certainty I got a lot of answers and I can tell you what started the flat spot the, the the spiritual lull is was a dip in my energy and that happened last this past Thursday it's Monday today this past Thursday I had two teeth removed from on this side in the back the wisdom tooth and the next tooth up or down or whatever you want to call it and I think the medications mixed with the actual sense of loss that a piece of me is gone and I didn't even never occurred to me that that would affect me that wow there's a piece of me missing and like I have to get used to talking again I, I don't know if I sound different to anyone but it feels weird to talk with those teeth gone <laughs> but with that surgery and with the medications I'm on my energy dip way down I don't know if you can tell but I'm ha actually having trouble keeping my energy up uh, and that is what caused the lull. It just went from a steady pace. You know, it does. It, it, nothing happens every day. Like poof, epiphany. Every day, epiphany. Learn something. Well, I learn something new every day, but it's not always epiphany. Sometimes it's just touching base with something I already knew, but now I have experience to draw on. So poof. Yeah, I get that now. You know what I mean? But this, even that. Phew, Interest in any outside information is at an all-time low for me as of late. All I want to do is focus on what's going on in here and around and and me because it's all irrelevant if I don't take care of me. It doesn't matter if I know what wise teacher said what wise words if I don't take care of me. So the last few days, because of the low, because I spiritually had no place to go, I went inside and I'm taking care of me. Because, like I said, those spiritual lulls, those, those slow spots, those when you go up and you hit that plateau, perfect time to, to go inside and deal with stuff you've learned, stuff you haven't dealt with, angers, hurts, pains. I've made a lot of progress. I learned a lot about myself just in the last three days. And I'm going to be doing probably most of the shows this week, if not all of them, are going to be about the things I learned just over the last three days because I had surgery and had time to be a lot more introspective on a level that's not seeking. I'm not seeking anything. I'm just trying to become more familiar with me, with myself. Not my path, not my journey, not my duties on earth as a, as a light being, just me. And it's working. And for the love of God, I don't understand why I didn't do this sooner. I don't understand why I didn't take the time to do this years ago. Or maybe I just didn't have the understanding I would have needed to understand the messages. Because... Some of the messages don't come through in such a coherent fashion. There are things that have tried to communicate with me and lack the language to communicate in a three-dimensional environment so everything they say comes through in two dimensions. It looks like paper, decorated, highly decorative paper. And it's like, I'm just going to not talk to you, not because I'm rude, just because... It looks like you're having difficulty dipping down to this level. <laughs> and it kind of made me feel bad that you had all this information to give me. And I was like trying to force you to talk to a caveman by comparison, I guess. <laughs> the, the visual was split, was stunning. It was, I mean, it was, it looked like a, like a cut out gingerbread man shape just with this astonishing assortment of beads like brass and 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 silver and shiny stones of beads covering it so it wasn't really a gingerbread man but it was the cutout thereof and i get it i kind of get the gist of it but what i took most of all was a higher dimensional creature was dipping down into the lower dimensions to give me information 
and it was incapable of dipping down this this far low, this this far down. <laughs> And I felt bad for it trying because wow, <laughs> don't hurt yourself on my account, really, because this place is addictive. It's highly addictive, and I would hate for a higher dimensional being to come here and get stuck here because it fell in love with some aspect of this place. Because it it's easy to get this this place is like the bait and switch of the universe. That's what this dimension is. <laughs> I'm not saying there's not beauty. What I'm saying is it's all booby trapped. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, I don't know how spiritual you are or if you're religious, but even if you're religious, it doesn't matter what scriptures you can quote. It doesn't matter your faith in God. It doesn't matter how much Jesus you have in your life if you don't take care of you. So when you hit those flat spots and you feel like, well, I'm not going anywhere. Well, sit down. If you don't have anywhere to go, sit down. Work on you. Work on you. There's got to be something. Nobody wants to be a hypocrite. Nobody wants to lead. Well, I don't want to lead ego first and be perceived as false. So what I like to do, but I do this on a daily basis, I make sure I shrink my energy to the absolute center as small as possible. Because the ego can't stand being that small. It has to be important. It has to be seen. And that is the only way to truly dispel the ego, is to shrink all the way down to nothing. Until you are infinitesimally small and unimportant to you or anybody else. Because that's exactly where we are. Everyone is equally as important. Everyone is equally as unimportant. So you realize in that moment the unimportance. And then after you get to the center, stand back up. And you are without ego. You are, you are without the part of you that says, but what will everyone else think? And people wonder why. Well, I wonder why he just doesn't give a fuck. Because I don't give a fuck. The ego gives a fuck. The ego cares what you think. The ego cares if you, you think I'm spiritual enough. The ego cares if you think that... Well, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Me, the self, every aspect of me, doesn't give a fuck. I will exist with or without your permission, with or without your consent. If you choose not to validate my journey, life will go on. <laughs> I'm not in this for the support. Spirituality is not a sports team. I don't need fans. I'm trying to help as many people as I can along the path. Take it or leave it. That's all it is. These videos are not even monetized, so I'm not in it for the money. Now, don't get me wrong. I would like to monetize, because brothers got to eat. <laughs> but as of yet, they're not monetized. I do this because I love doing it. I do this because people do need help. And eventually, sooner or later, someone other than me is going to watch these videos. <laughs> <laughs> oh. supposed to be quitting smoking and then I had that surgery and then all the pills I gotta take that's all I can think about smoke or eat, smoke or eat, smoke or eat, smoke or eat and because I don't want to eat up all the food in the house I've been smoking more But as soon as I'm off these meds and everything's back to normal, normal and I get my energy back up, I'll be quitting. Some would say, you should quit now while it's all at its shittiest. <laughs> Let me rip two teeth out of your head and then I'll start barking orders at you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all be fine. If, if I don't make it, I don't make it. If I make it, good on me, right? Good on me. <laughs> 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 
but yeah, this, my energy, I don't, my energy feels weird even now because it's so subdued, because I feel like it's almost as though there's not a slow spot in my spiritual path. It's that my car ran out of fuel is what it feels like. So either way, I'm at a slow or dead spot. And I'm taking advantage of it. I'm not just saying, oh, woe is me. I'm not learning. I am I stopped with the external search for a short time. I mean, there's a couple of documentaries I plan to watch today. But other than that, I'm more concerned with what I'm learning about me and my relationship to the rest of me. And I don't want to be who I perceive myself to be. Now, I don't mind if, if there's an aspect of me or any part of me that has the capability of being an asshole. That's kind of a defense mechanism, and let's face it, sometimes it's fun to be an asshole. Well, if you can't admit that, then you don't deserve to be an asshole. <laughs> you don't get to snap back or make snide comments. You haven't earned it yet. <laughs> But on the same token, I don't want that to be all there is to me. I want there to be just everything. And when I say everything, I want there to be everything. I want to be a complete being. I don't want to live without my shadow. I just, I don't. I, I couldn't fathom living without my shadow. I don't want to live without my light. But lately, honestly... I don't care about those things. I want to get to know me. Not as an energy form, but as a being in the universe that perceives separate consciousness and separateness. I want to know about my particular take on the separateness. My point of view. That's the only point, that is the only reason to experience separation, is to have a point of view. And to know, I mean, why is my point of view different? Is it because when I was born, the planet was in a particular spot in the universe, so I'm always going to see stuff from that point in the universe? Something interesting to ponder. Because when you were born, the planet was in a different location. And we can agree on things, but we'll never see it perfectly matched. And we, there may be a couple of things we see perfectly matched, but it'll never be everything. Do you understand? I don't know these things. That's why I'm asking. But it feels good. That line of thought f feels good. So that could be possibly what it is. But... You'll never know unless you take advantage of these flat spots, these plateaus, these lulls, these, this slow motion, this unsuredness. When you're not sure what the next step is, when you're not sure where you're going to go next, sit down. Focus on you. Learn about you and don't look at the clock and then look into yourself. Mm, om, om. Look at the clock. Oh, no, don't worry about the time. The time will pass. Worry about you. It's been Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's Monday. It's been four days almost. <clears throat> so the time will pass. Might as well get some work done while you're while you're waiting, right? <laughs> what is it? From a spiritual standpoint, if you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean. <laughs> No point in being spiritually lazy. You might find out things about yourself that you have not ignored. Well, yeah, you've ignored them. You've overlooked them because of not your preconceived notion of yourself, but the preconceived notions of others and your willingness to fit in their mold because you love them or like them or feel sorry for them or whatever you feel for them. You stay in that mold. Not for yourself, but for them. But you won't figure this out because you're too busy running down the path, running down the path. And you hit a slow spot and you just look at the watch. When's it going to kick back up? 
when's it going to kick back up? Instead of looking inside and saying, huh, I never thought of that. Hmm. And that's since Thursday. That's what I've been doing. Hmm. Never thought of that. And I never would have thought antibiotics would make me feel, would, would take my energy down. But yeah, they, they have. They've taken my energy way down. <clears throat> and I have this stench of sulfur. And it's not the cigarettes. I just taste of sulfur in my mouth. I can smell sulfur everywhere when, I, when I'm walking, when I'm talking. And, I, and before I started taking those antibiotics, and all it is is penicillin, before I started taking it, I didn't feel that way or smell that way or any of that. So, But here's to hoping that my energy levels get back to normal once I'm done with this course of antibiotics because it, it doesn't feel good. Remembering that you used to have a very high energy level sucks when you realize you don't have that energy level anymore. But like I said, it's given me, without that energy level here, my mind seems less focused and that seems to be helping because it's going to the questions I had that I maybe forgot about and never asked so it'll go it'll just meander over to here and be like remember this and it'll meander over to here and be like remember this and it's like huh yeah cool so not having control of the wheel so to speak has actually been beneficial for the last three or four days so I would suggest to anyone that hits that spot and you become unsure of what to do next Ooh, excuse me, and you're unsure of where to go next, sit down and work on you. You ask, you know, don't work on the path. Don't work on anybody else's interpretation of spirituality. Don't work on anybody else's advice. Work on you. On your own unique point of view. Get in there and learn who you are. Not what they think you are. But first, learn what you think you are, and then work out from there. Because nothing else matters if you don't take care of yourself first. All the scriptures, all of the right ways to be, all of the masters, all of everything. If you don't take care of you, it's all for nothing. So remember that. And that's not just on the slow spots. Be mindful to take care of yourself on a daily basis. Because one day you'll wake up, and I've done it, you'll wake up and say, what about me? Well, it's really nobody's responsibility but yours. So the slow spots, if you've been lacking in the taking care of yourself, those slow spots are the perfect time to jump up and say, okay, it's my turn. Taking care of me. Because it's really nobody's responsibility. And that's what most people do. They wait for somebody else to go, I'm waiting for that one teacher. No, 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 no. The teacher's going to teach you something, but you have to keep yourself alive until he gets there or she gets there. <laughs> and your mental life and your emotional life is just as important as your physical life. And you have to, you have to look into those. Let the mind play. I mean, read a book. And not just a, uh, uh, like, The Rise and Fall of the Roman Empire, which was a really good book, by the way, really thick book. But that's not the kind of things that stretch the imagination. You want a good fiction every once in a while. You want to play a video game every once in a while. You want to read a comic book every once in a while. Something to stretch, keep those walls kind of loose and ready to expand at a moment's notice. <coughs> exercise it's like a it's like a muscle if you don't flex it and then you go to do something you'll be like oh I pulled my brain <laughs> so remember when you hit those flat spots when you hit those lulls and you're unsure of yourself exercise your brain you don't want to pull your brain <laughs>
Anyway, we're getting on past the 30 minute mark and uh, even with my low energy, I, I, I got a kick out of this video. And I would uh, invite anyone to comment down below or send a video response because it's supposed to be a discussion. And uh, like I said, I can't wait for the day when I'm not the only one watching these. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you have enjoyed this video please click the like button you can favorite this video if you want but if you have actually learned something and you'd like to keep coming back for more information or you just like the sound of my voice then hit the subscribe button but until next time you hang in there